During these first 100 days, what has surprised you the most about this office, enchanted you the most about serving in this office, humbled you the most, and troubled you the most? Now, let me write this down. <laughs> Yeah, those were some tough questions, weren't they? Those were gotcha questions. My political panel is back. Angela McLeod and Jessica Tarl. Angela, listen, yeah. I mean, okay, we took some of those excerpts <laughs> to make right. a point, but I think it does make a point. Do you not agree? Well, it makes a point from the standpoint of this. A great man once told me the sign of a great journalist, Ashley, is when mm. you read their article or you listen to their newscast and you can't tell if they're Democratic or Republican. The bottom line is this, mm. if you are a journalist, you're supposed to report the news story, but you can't get the story right if you can't get access. And I think that reporters should prove that they should gain access on how they report. That's how I feel. Yeah, but of course it's all in the eyes of whoever's watching it, and, and we all look at the world through our yeah. own very biased eyes. I mean, it's just the way That's it is, true. unfortunately. But it's a good point, Angela. Yeah. Jessica, to your point, you said earlier, well, we were commenting on President Obama's suits and everything else, but your golf game is as good as Tiger's, and what's enchanted you most about the White House? I mean, come on, it was a love affair. It was a love fest. Uh, certainly, listen, I, I'm a bit in love with Barack Obama myself, <laughs> so I understand it. I would just like to point out, if we just we'll go back, therapy, okay. don't worry. <laughs> my parents are already paying for it. Um, oh, no, if you go back just like a, a couple, liberal. <laughs> like a true liberal New Yorker, yeah. thanks mom and dad. Um, no, if you go back even to the press conference with Justin Trudeau a couple days ago, which was yeah. the day that Michael Flynn resigned or was fired, yeah. whichever way it is, there was not one question about that, which was clearly the news of the day. Or not talking about Stephen Miller's claims on a Sunday morning shows where he said that there was this massive voter fraud and there was evidence of it but he wasn't going to provide it so yes we do have eight years of obama press conferences to cherry pick from and i think certainly listen we know about certain journalists and their partisan leanings and that's on yes. both sides of the aisle and that's yes. not a good thing no two wrongs don't make a right i i i agree jessica two wrongs good news don't back, make back a right. segment but President Obama had it easy. Come on now. Oh, Those questions, whoa, whoa. please. <laughs> you know, Harvard grad, can you guys think of something else a little bit harder? You know what, uh, Angela, let me ask you this. interesting. The New York Times uh, published, uh, published a story today called Journalists Battered and Groggy Find a Renewed Sense of Mission. They're going after Donald Trump. Someone said here, David Remnick, by the way, the editor of The New Yorker, said, there's a sense of urgency and energy that I feel that reminds me of being 20 and in a very different situation, in the middle of a revolutionary situation in Russia. They're so excited. They're <laughs> rushing to find the dirt on Donald Trump. He's an easy target. They can't wait to go and, s and scroll through all the social media out there to find the next piece of dirt. True or fake? Would you agree? Look, the bottom line is, here we go, I'm going to go back to what you said, dealing with the cafe drinking, what, the coffee drinking, latte drinking yes, type yes. of liberals, a double <laughs> standard. That's them talking down to us that we made the wrong decision in electing Donald Trump. Get over yourselves and report the news. That's why people are having a problem with Trump press conferences. They're not reporting the news. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Donald Whoa. Trump called out CNN's 10 o'clock show. Is that Don, Don Lemon? Lemon's show? He is Say not it. a fan of Don Lemon. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, to be honest with you, I've never seen it. I'm usually asleep by then. I get in early. But well, I stay up late to watch is Don it, Lemon. Is it as bad as he says it is? Is it just bash Donald no, Trump at every step of the not. way? No, of course not. And there are Republicans on the panels. I mean... It, they're fair and balanced, really? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm not supposed to use that catchphrase for another network. But look, I can't say this, you're guys. A liberal, you don't understand guys, it. Guys, I can't I don't say this. Anything. Uh -huh. I, I can say this. The president did put in a great plug for Fox and Friends. I like that. that he, was did. He, did. Yeah, he did. But he also yes, he said did. things like the rollout of the travel ban was really smooth, but they just got a bad court. <laughs> I don't know how you just get a bad court in the United States of America. Here. Well, Ninth yeah. Circuit is <laughs> often overturned, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, Angela, we're laughing, but did Donald Trump overall do okay today, or did he just make his critics, you know, get into a lather even more, or did he, you know, did he make, score some points? I think he scored some points with certain people, and I mm -hmm. think he made his point, but now let's put it all behind us. Let's stop this war of words, and let's get on with leading the world. That's what we're supposed to be doing, people. And the press should report the news, not what they think, not how they feel, or not how we should have voted. 
Because those, the votes are already in. And those unnamed sources who weren't given permission to talk to. Who the very bad people? leakers. Absolutely. Yes. But to say that he said, let's put this behind us when he upgraded from fake news to very fake news, oh. it seems like a disconnect <laughs> to me. That was pretty funny. You right. got to admit that was funny. That he, was even, he did get Acosta laughing. So. He did. So, yeah. you know, the world's okay because yeah. Acosta's <laughs> laughing. All right, Angela, Jessica, we're laughing too. Thanks so much.